Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a couple of tweaks for the game Alice Madness Returns. I'm going to be showing you how to increase the frame rate to 60 frames per second, and also how to skip the vanity screens when you start up the game. All right, uh, first thing you want to do, of course, is download and install uh, Alice Madness Returns and go ahead and run the game once and go through and change your settings uh, as far as like resolution and make sure when you change the resolution, you click the button right underneath the resolution setting. And then you got to click confirm button on the bottom of the screen afterwards. But, uh, set up your settings after you got everything done there. Then we want to go to where you installed the game at in Steam. In my case, it'll be in the C drive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Alice Madness Returns. And then we want to go into the Alice game and the config. And we're going to open up the default engine.ini. Now, in the description below, I'll have the code that you want to copy. And once you copy that, then you want to highlight everything in the engine engine here and go ahead and paste over that. And if you successfully done it and max smooth frame rate equals 60 should be showing. Then you go ahead and save and go ahead and exit out of that. Now, uh, what we would like to do next is go ahead and set you up to skip the vanity screens at the beginning of the game So it will take you to the game itself So what we want to do is we want to go into documents and We want to look for my games Alice Madness returns Alice game config and then we want to open up the Alice engine dot I and I and now we want to hit Control and F to bring up the find and enter in full screen movie. Click find next. And you should get the section called full screen movie. Now the thing you want to do next is uh, find startup movies equal intro underscore EA dot B I K. And in my case, I've already got the semicolon in front, but go ahead and put the semicolon in front of that. The semicolon is to the right of your L key. Also put a semicolon in front of startup movies equal intro underscore sh dot bik. And put a semicolon in front of startup movies equal tech logo underscore short dot bik. Once you've done that, go ahead and save up and exit out of that. Then right click on aliceengine.ini select properties and click read only click apply click OK because uh, I had it happen to me where it uh, some reason the game overwrote uh, the changes I made concerning that and you ended up getting the vanity screens all right let's go ahead and start up the game Give me a second here. I'm gonna change the uh, camera, the mouse speed, because that's a little fast. Talk about right. changing the network. Excuse me, sir. You look like a discerning gentleman. Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Still a mess.
You're part frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. And there you go. I hope that helps you out and uh, helps you to enjoy Alice Madness Returns the way it should be in all its PC gaming glory. All right, take care one and all, and God bless you.